it's a really nice place to come and it's a happy place. You've got the sea on your doorstep which is ever changing and you've got you know, everything around me here inspires me. The door is always open for a cup of coffee and we welcome from all ages in here. And um, a lot of people have had mental health problems and they have said that this, the fashion school saved saved their marriage or saved, you know, saved their depression. And it's a place where everybody can come and meet each other and help each other out, as well as learning a really valuable skill. We have young people from the, the Dunbar Grammar School. We have elderly people. We have people just popping in. Jackie, the school, the, the staff, everyone, they're really engaged with the community. Last year, the fashion school worked with um, young people from Dunbar Grammar School around a project called Make It. Um, and the project was based around employability. So young people coming into the school making, um, making garments and um, getting employability skills at the same time. The main benefit for it was that the, the skills of employability and uh, sort of future proofing were taught in an environment out with the school and it was taught by a new set of people as well, fresh faces and it was a fresh start for all the kids that came along so they were able to sort of flourish in their own way. They're looking at the moment to do an intergenerational project, which will be very, very exciting. So bringing um, elderly people, some living with dementia, into the school. They just inspire the young people and then it breaks down the stereotypes of the older people being frightened of the young people. I had three lovely girls um, and then I went through a bad marriage and during the marriage um, my ex-husband took my girls and he, he basically snatched them and took them back to Libya. So eventually I got to a point when I was severely depressed and I was suffering from eating disorder and everything was just like, I, I, I literally like lost hope in life basically, I mean I just didn't even want to live. Um, and I was getting treatment for my depression and for my eating disorder and my therapist says, you know, I um, need to do something because you can't sit at home and just think all the time or worry about something. The situation in Libya is not going to get any better, so you, you know, there's nothing you can do at the moment but do something that you love doing. I remember the very first time walking through the doors and Jackie just had been painting the place and she, I mean, just her smile, she was like, oh, hi, yeah. And I, I, was, I got quite emotional when she said it because I thought to myself, you know, I'm back, I've been back home. Ever since then, I've just been getting better and better and um, I don't even need to get cancer anymore. This is basically my life now. This is how I got out of like being so, so depressed and down. They think fashion's fickle and it's airy fairy and it's so not, but once they've been here, they just suddenly get it. So there's more than just fashion, it's about building confidence, also um, building connections with those who come through. We always welcome people to come in and if they want to do evening classes, there are, and if they want to come in and have a cup of coffee and chat, there is, you know, like they can do that. So there's, it's just more, it's more than a fashion skill to me anyway. It's almost like a second home and it's an inspiration as well. Definitely. It's definitely our door's always open. Well, it, it looks closed, but I'm, I've just ordered an open sign. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the pink door, so you're welcome through the pink door. <laughs>